everybody, it's Laser here, and uh, today uh, I'm gonna be talking about the a uh, hundred million dollar chess lawsuit that Hans Niemann has just lodged against Magnus Carlsen. So base, this is like so basically. Uh, if you don't know the backstory behind this, which, uh, by the way, I have made a whole video on everything that's happened and in the situ- in this chess cheating drama situation before this, so you can go look at that video. Oh, if you want a more in-depth guide, but I'm basically just gonna speed run, uh, make a quick little speed run of an, of an exploration. Basically, Hans Niemann beat Matt- Magnus Carlsen in a chess match. It was very, it was very incredible because, as Magnus Carlsen was thought to be the best chess player in the world, well before Hans even, it beat him. Ha Magnus Carlsen, and accused, used, it's ha Hans Niemann of, uh, of cheating, and people, all came up with this funny, uh, with this, uh, uh rectal beads theory where basically he had had an AI I uh, an AI plug uh, butt plug pu uh, put up his ass uh, so that he would uh, that would vibrate <laughs> that would actually vibrate a and tell him what moves to play it was more so of a joke theory but yeah then some actual evidence came out first off chess.com I made a report saying that uh, yes uh, that Hans Niemann cheated uh, in actually a lot of online chess matches is some of them were, were ranked by the way and some of them were even in paid ranked matches so overall not looking too good for Hans Niemann then Hans Niemann and his coach turns out he cheated eh, he's cheated in over the top uh, has cheated in chess before and now Hans Niemann is now suing Magnus Carlsen and ch his company and chess.com um, for defamation of character. So, basically, Hans Niemann says that because of the situation that has unfolded, it has led to him not being able to get, to get as many brand deals or or basically it base and basically it ruins it, it the whole thing ruined his image basically he, and now nobody wants to work with him so yeah uh, so that's so he's filing a hundred million dollars dollars even though Magnus Carlsen probably doesn't have that much look okay hey you see the highest the number one highest uh earning chess player in the world uh, of all time is ha has earned an accumulative amount of nine million in dollars yeah just nine million and Hans Niemann is asking for a hundred million though to be honest I do think that uh, the claims is that Hans Niemann are that Magnus Carlsen uh, no, not Magnus. Uh, Hans Niemann are ma is making it are pretty valid because, first of all, all Hans Niemann and gave zero evidence for actually it for you know um, ma for Mag for Hans Niemann you know cheating. Mac Magnus Carlsen gave zero evidence to it like zero at all all and basically because he was such a suspected member of the of the chess s community he, he was base everybody believed him because well he's so good at the game and he would know if someone was cheating and, and and like something similar happened to this before where like in an online chess tournament and a professional chess player was going up up against this billionaire for like a charity event turned out the billionaire was cheating and and at the end of the chess 
That's match. The the professional chess player actually called the billionaire out on his cheating. So yeah, chess players are really good at it seeing if you were cheating or not. However, Magnus Carlsen gave zero evidence and basically ruined uh, on Hans Demon's career or because of this this claim. This is this completely outrageous claim in fact. Now I am aware that as I said before or that if you cheat he did in like online ranked matches in my opinion you are more likely to cheat in real life. Right. And uh this uh, and I still go by this sentiment and but I don't think that this is applicable to Hans Hans Neiman because he's because Magnus Carlsen literally has no proof. The anal beats theory? That wasn't even his theory. That was a theory the chess community came up with. And at the end of the day, the anal beats theory was a joke. Oh, so yeah. Uh, like, I, I think Hans Neiman is justified in this $100 million lawsuit. And basically what they do, and also if you're wondering, but Laser, er, the number one unranked chess player, here in the the number one most earning er, earned amount of money from a chess player er, in the world is nine million, and there's no way Hans Niemann, uh, no not Hans, Niemann, Magnus Carlsen, can pay off this, and that's intentional. You see, with these defamation cases, basically what they do you know, is that they put uh, an impossibly high high number for the lawsuit, and then. Like incredibly, unbelievably high, high number for the lawsuit, and then because they basically just want on a like bleed whoever they're suing dry. Right, and if this goes through successfully, it's surefire bankruptcy for for the defending party if they lose. It was it is. They're basically doomed. So if Magnus Carlson is uh, Anch uh, S dot com, as well as Mag Magnus Carlson's its affiliate a company, is found uh, liable for defamation, and there each one of those companies are going to be going like bankrupt. Also, another reason why I think that. The pricing is so high is because, uh, is like, is because this lawsuit is being split across three different bodies. Two of them are just Magnus Carlson, but the other one is Chess.com. And speaking of Chess.com, um, if this Lewis Lake Magnus Carlson, if this lawsuit goes through, oh, Mag Chess.com will be going bankrupt. Which is a big deal, because Chess.com is the world's largest, is like platform for online chess. There is no larger platform for chess as that is larger, or on and unlike Chess.com, it's basically the number one place to go for online chess matches. Is so it. If it shuts down, that basically means the online chess community is basically dead at that point. Right? Because what are they going to play chess on now? Bonzi buddy? Buddy? Well, obviously they can't because that's a Trojan horse, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, this situation overall, it's gone pretty crazy. And I am taking uh, Hans Niemann's side for this, partially because, as he's, uh, partially because I don't believe he's responsible, partially because I don't want to get sued myself. So, anyways, that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.